In anticipation for the new DLC for Elden Ring, this is a quick guide to get the best out of your visuals before you hit diminishing returns. It was a little difficult curating this because of the weather systems, but I'll try to focus on the important details. Text quality affects the visual fidelity of textures, the higher, the sharper, and more detailed they are. Generally speaking, the textures are pretty good in Elden Ring, with slight texture improvements from low to medium, a slight visual bump from medium to high, and no real difference between high and maximum. Anti-aliasing removes jaggies, smoothening out sharp edges. This is noticeable on the shield and edge of the shoulder on the offsetting. Low smoothens out the whole image, removing jaggies but losing texture detail. High smoothens out the jaggies but retains texture detail. SSAO affects the ambient shadows by objects in the environment. Objects closer together will have deeper shadows. Off has barely any shadows cast or ambient. Medium adds cast shadows. High makes the shadows softer relevant to the lighting conditions. That the field is in effect designed to imitate the focus of a camera by blurring anything that's not directly in focus. Personally, I never play with this setting as it adds a performance impact and reduce overall visual clarity. The easiest place to see this is on the ruins in the distance. Off and low have little to no blurring effect. Medium and high add a strong blur effect with maximum adding the strongest blur. Motion blur is another effect that I rarely use. It is supposed to simulate the blur of our eyes during fast movement or that of a camera. Typically this just adds a smearing effect when moving around and reduces overall visual clarity. This also costs performance. Since this requires movement, I don't have any direct comparisons. I'd recommend leaving it off unless that's something that you are specifically looking for. This would be a more cinematic experience. Shadow quality was difficult to test because of the weather systems. I saw no substantial difference from low to maximum, although this is possibly affected by SSAO or shader quality or any other setting which might affect the appearance of the shadows. This might be because I kept the other settings low whilst I increased the shadow quality setting in isolation. Lighting quality is a broad term, so it's hard to describe what this actually does. I noticed a big difference between low and medium, but very little from medium to maximum that I couldn't attribute to the weather systems themselves. From low to medium, there is an orange hue shift, so perhaps this affects bounce lighting and overall visual lighting, contextual to the time of day. Effects quality increases or decreases the amount of particles present in things like spells, ashes of war, fires, and sites of grace. There is a minimal difference between low to medium. High has a smoother looking trail, whilst maximum has the biggest trail to follow and the most particle effects. Volumetric lighting affects the quality of fog and clouds. There is a minimal difference between low and maximum. Potentially this is lighting based and refers to the lighting going through the fog, but this is such a niche case that it's otherwise irrelevant. This setting has a big performance impact and so should be kept low for stability sake. Reflection quality determines the amount of ripples and how detailed reflections are on the surface of the water. With low, you'll have few ripples and reflections will barely take into account cast shadows. Medium has more ripples, cast shadows are present although unrefined, and high has more detailed ripples slash cast shadows. Water surface quality affects the amount of ripples and complexity of water surfaces. This is more noticeable in the ocean and standing pools of water. Low has a few waves present, with high adding more waves. Shader quality affects the lighting. The higher the shader quality, the more god rays and realistic lighting will be. Low has an even wash of lighting with a few god rays. Medium has more god rays whilst lessening the yellow wash. High almost entirely removes the yellow wash whilst introducing god rays to the image. Global illumination quality evens out the lighting when it comes into contact with surfaces, creating realistic lighting. It takes into account the color of the light source, the material it's interacting with, and the intensity of the lighting itself. Low does a good job of getting the general lighting correct. Medium softens the lighting in contact with fabrics and there is a minimal difference between medium and high. Both seem to do a very similar job. Grass quality changes the amount of grass present. Although there were a few additional grass pieces in high and maximum at a distance, the difference was mostly negligible and wouldn't be noticeable on a playthrough. This is what I would personally set. Texture quality set to medium, anti-aliasing set to off or high, SSAO set to medium, depth of field off, motion blur off, shadow quality medium, lighting quality medium, effect quality low or high, volumetric quality low, reflection quality low or high, water surface low, shadow quality medium or high, global illumination medium, grass quality set to medium. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace and take care. I'll see you guys in the next one.